Next at 6, a story we are happy to bring to you about an unbelievable recovery. And along with that, a plea for help to expand the American Family Children's Hospital. News 3's Mark Lovacott is here with the story, Mark. Sarah and Eric, the name Tegan Marti has become a name that's very familiar in our community, unfortunately, for a pretty tragic reason. She fell, you may remember, 100 feet from a thrill ride in the Dells in 2010. But the story of her recovery is nothing short of remarkable. I'm certain that my child would not be alive if she had not been able to come to this phenomenal facility. Julie Marti thinks back to that awful, awful day when her then 12-year-old daughter was dropped 100 feet from this Lake Delton thrill ride without the net in place. Initially, we didn't, we didn't know if she was going to make it at all. Tegan, now 14, was immediately brought to the American Family Children's Hospital, and her recovery has defied all odds. For cognitively, she is superior. She has absolutely no brain damage. Um, I've, she's keeping up with her classes online, and I'm hoping that she'll graduate on time. Tegan is the poster child of why a facility like this is so important. It's why the Martis are back, pushing for its expansion. It is becoming more difficult to ensure that we have a bed available and are able to take care of patients in a timely fashion so that they get the care that is needed. On Monday, UW Hospital announced a 10-year, $32 million fundraising campaign. It will add 26 more critical care beds to the Children's Hospital, as well as imaging and heart services. $16.4 million will come from private donations. Julie Marti says it's an investment the community needs to make. What if the day this happened to Tegan, there were no beds? What do you do? Where, where do you go? Already $6.5 million has been raised in private funds for this expansion project. About $10 million more is needed, though. Hospital officials say they will use space that's already been shelled out within the current facility and it is ready for construction. They anticipated the need for this expansion. They say just not this quickly. Construction is expected to start sometime later this year. Great to have them back it in is. the area and uh, helping that mm -hmm. great cause. And we wish her continued success Absolutely. and her progress. Great to see her. Mark, yeah. thank you very much. Thanks, Mark.